it's a ticket to freedom for many teenagers, so there's often nothing more exciting than getting a driver's license. But almost 200 student drivers are now in a tailspin after a Northwest Suburban driving school suddenly shut its doors. Only on 2, CBS 2's Dana Kozlov says many fear the owner took their money and drove off. 16-year-old Lindsay Huerta was weeks away from getting her driver's license. She was set to get behind the wheel again with A-plus driving school owner Leslie Marshall on July 31st after shelling out about $500 for the class last fall. But her plan has hit the brakes. It's just not going to happen anymore because of this, unfortunately. This is A-plus's now empty dark office space in Elk Grove with a note on the door from another driving school stating it wants to help drivers complete their course. Oh, I'm mad. I'm, I'm really mad. 15 year old Beyonce Seals is another A plus student out hundreds of dollars just shy of finishing her class. That's what I'm thinking right now that she just took my money, took everyone's money. Seals says she last texted with Marshall July 13th when Marshall canceled their driving appointment. A few days later, the business shuttered. Did you call her? Yeah, I called her and it rang straight to voicemail and then I called her another time and then it went straight to voicemail. We tried calling too. Hi, you reached Leslie's phone with A plus driving school. Uh, please leave your name and your telephone number. No one called us back. We even tried reaching Marshall at home. No luck. These students say they now have to shell out even more money to finish somewhere else. I'm going to have to pay almost $700 for this when other people paid about $500. An Illinois Secretary of State official says A-plus driving school was licensed but abruptly went out of business last week, affecting about 180 people. Those impacted can call the Secretary of State's commercial driver section for help with credit transfers and possible reimbursement. But that could take months. These students aren't sure what they're going to do, but put the blame on Marshall. I think she should come out from wherever she went. She should give a formal apology to all the students and all the parents. Tell us what happened. That's what she should have done in the first place. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Now we did the math, 180 students times $500, that comes to about $90,000. The parents of those students we spoke with also say they want to get this worked out.